hey guys welcome to my channel happy halloween um today i just wanted to do a quick little video um i wanted to give my opinions on the new animal crossing pocket camp update um i did recently review maxine the new movie maxine um that's a part of the X trilogy. I've done the other two reviews, so that will be up by this weekend, maybe by Sunday. Um, but yeah, I know it's been a while. I don't know how long it's been since I did my last video. I've moved yet again. I just love moving. But yeah, I just wanted to get into the swing of things of doing more videos and reviews and possible reactions and things like that and yes today at my job we had my new job we had like a halloween party so i dressed up as last minute last night i just went to party city got these ears got some fake blood um and then everything else is mine but yeah so i might look a little greasy or something because it's been you know i had this on since this morning but anyway um, and yeah, I just wanted to do a video because I haven't done a video in a while. So I may do a catch up. I don't know. I've never had like personal videos on here. So I'm going to stick to this Animal Crossing um, review or whatever. Um, so if you haven't heard, this pertains to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. This is the app that's on, you know, mobile phones or whatever. And it came out in 2017 and yeah it's based on the animal crossing that came out a long time ago whatever so they are doing away with the free version and going to this paid version and so i know i know i'm late on that initial issue but they just recently dropped a video about what the new version will have how much it costs blah 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 um and so so i just watched that maybe a couple of days ago so i just wanted to give my opinion and um, so yeah, so I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. I've been playing since I was young and I played when I was young and I didn't play forever until Pocket Camp came out. And so I downloaded Pocket Camp and then like literally I have logged in every day, just about every day since then, except for most recently. For some reason, like when I, first of all, I got the news because I don't really read the um, alerts or the notifications that much. And um, I think I read that this was the free version was going away maybe a couple weeks ago. I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? What the hell is going on? I was scared. But I also just accepted it. I was like, oh, if it's going away, it's going away. Because I really wasn't playing it like that, especially compared to when I first downloaded it. But like I said, I log in every day um, just to log in. And um, when I saw that alert, then I stopped kind of logging in. But before then, I really logged in like every day. Like I actually play Pocket Camp more than I play Horizon. I haven't played Horizon in like two years because I can't find the cord to my um, to my switch. So the power cord. So um, so yeah, and Pocket Camp's just easier to me. So whatever. Anyway, so my thoughts, yeah, like I said initially, it's kind of like I got a little sad, but then I was like, if it's going, it's going. And when I heard paid, I got pissed off because I'm like, I'm not paying for anything. Like, I don't pay for any of these apps. I don't like that. That just really gets to me when they add these paid features and things like that. Like, I'm not paying for anything. Y'all get enough money. Um, but after watching the video, I see that it's a one-time payment. And if you pay before January something, it's only $10 versus $20 after January something. Um, when I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and so I saw what was transferring over, which was like, you know, your coins transfer over, your most of your data, um, your outfits, your character, your friends, if they get the paid version, um, or quote unquote Animal Crossing friends, like real people, you know, your campsite and the camper and the, um, your cabin, things like that. But I was like, mm, are the leaf tickets going over? And they're not. So that means I'm going to have to spend these leaf tickets before I get over to the new version so I'm about to buy a whole bunch of fortune cookies and there's a new location which is called like whistle forest or something it looked a little creepy to me but it's just this place where your friends are and of course some of the animal friends and then KK and them they um, he 
performed. I don't know if they said every night or every Friday, which is okay, I guess. So I was just glad that it was a one-time fee because I'm like, I'm not paying monthly. I'm not paying monthly at all. And to, to be honest, like I said, I don't play as much because when I first started playing, uh, my little character's name is Jordan. I would switch out her clothes all the time. I would take little screenshots and yes, she's very androgynous. Um, but as times went, I just didn't care. I, I will say the thing that kept me playing the game was as redundant as it is, I do like the cycle of events. I think it kind of, it just engages me versus like Horizon. I feel like once all the new people moved into my island and I was done, um, you know, crafting the stuff for their, their houses or whatever, there was nothing to do. And like, yeah, there's seasonal events, but they don't happen that often. And I think with Pocket Camp, it's, there's always an event going on. And so it keeps me like, like I said, like engaged, even if the events half the damn time I never even complete the events I could I always complete the garden event the gardening event never complete I don't know which one is more difficult for me to complete the fishing event or the um scavenger hunt I want to say the fishing one for some reason but I always try to play I would say that keeps me playing in the fortune cookies for some reason i just really like the fortune cookies i love the the different themes and those can get very redundant as well but i i like them i like collecting them and now one thing i will say that i noticed the more that i played like um as the years went on the top fortune cookie like that gold fortune cookie to me became easier to get like more accessible and that's when I kind of felt like something was going on because before it was super rare to get a gold or get a fortune cookie with a gold message with the, the five star item in it but I noticed I was getting them more and more frequently and I was like hmm, maybe people aren't playing as much and so there's like this incentive for you to play if you get this fortune cookie but but to be quite honest, maybe the first five, I would look at the um, memory, but after that, I didn't. But I still get excited when I get the five star um, items. I just love the different themes. I don't know what it is, but um, but like so far, I probably have like 15 maybe. So maybe even more. But yeah, one, one thing I was thinking about as far as if... If, if everything was starting over, I was thinking about the quote unquote friends that you make on the game that you don't talk to because they don't, I don't think they have a message board or like a messaging system where you can send messages to people. I don't know how that would go anyway, but um, it's funny because it kind of reminds me when I used to play, um, what was that? The draw, the draw it, draw, I can't think, it was a, um, a game where you play with a random person and you have to draw a picture and they have to guess it and I just remember one time I was playing with somebody for a while and we got up to like a hundred you know Matt cuz cuz I want to say if you can't if you can't guess it it would start all over and we got to like a hundred and I remember like kind of sending them a message on the actual easel or whatever um, and so I kind of felt that way with some of the people who I was friends with on Animal Crossing, especially when it came to giving gifts, like some people, one person is up to like 235, like we've given each other multiple gifts and you like find that person where you, you when you get a fortune cookie gift, you give it to them because they always give you fortune cookie gifts. So, but if they pay for it, then, you know, you, you're still gonna be friends. So I don't remember all the features, but I'll still be playing. Um, it's just my little thing just to have something to do. I will say I, I feel like the, the game is kind of set up like a lot of games to where when you have these events like the fishing event, the scavenger hunt event, the way that you actually get all the items or whatever or the trophies is like you have to literally play this game all damn day and, and don't nobody got time for that. We got jobs out here. So it's just like sometimes that annoys me because I'm not playing this all day. Like, I'm not waiting every three hours to go fishing. You know, like, I'm not waiting, and especially the scavenger hunt, because 
I already don't like having to go to each place. I don't. So I already don't like doing that. I'm lazy as hell, even in this damn game. Um, but yeah, hopefully the new version is cool. Hopefully I can find my power cord to my Switch and I can play that because I already know. I'm a log in. My, her name is Jordan too. It's basically the same girl. I'm a log in. Her hair is going to be everywhere. She's going to have roaches all through her house. Just got to stomp them out real quick. And yeah, so I don't know. But, you know, let me know below what you think. If you are a fan of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, if you like Pocket Camp more than Horizon or vice versa, if you're going to buy the paid version, what you think of the new features or the features who are going away because I do think the leaf tickets aren't transferring but there's like new type of leaf tickets um you know just your experience with pocket camp how you like it what do you think about this paid version because I mean I feel like Nintendo is getting enough money so why are you why are you charging us like I just really do not like when when companies do that like it's, it's getting out of control it's getting out of control and if you did anything for Halloween and maybe some of the things you want to say, I mean, some of the things you want to see from me, like I said, um, Maxime Review is coming out and then I do want to start doing more reactions, maybe to some shows, some anime, um, you know, you can leave your suggestions, but I'm going to do what I want to do. Oh yeah, I didn't say what I was. I'm, I'm a bunny, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm like a killer bunny or if I'm like roadkill. I feel like I'm roadkill. I've been going with roadkill. So I'm gonna go, oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, yes, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.